CEO Elon Musk showed a demonstration of the idea on stage at a space industry conference, claiming that it will allow passengers to take most long-distance trips in just 30 minutes and go anywhere on Earth in under an hour for around the same price of an economy airline ticket. Proposed routes include Hong Kong to Singapore in 22 minutes, London to Dubai in 29 minutes, or London to New York in 29 minutes, and Los Angeles to Toronto in 24 minutes. Passengers would take a large boat from a dock in a city to a floating launch pad out in the water. There, they board the same rocket that Musk wants to use to send humans to Mars by 2024. But instead of heading off to another planet once they leave the Earth's atmosphere, the ship separates and breaks off towards another city. This city-to-city -city travel would be, by far, the fastest ever created by humanity. The ship would reach a speed of about 18,000 miles per hour at its peak, which is more than an order of magnitude faster than the Concorde. But Musk didn't explain how tickets on a giant rocket would cost the same as those on a commercial airplane. We also don't know what the passenger experience would be like, though the thought of blasting off on a rocket to space is exciting, as is the potential for adding moments of weightlessness to your trip to London or wherever. And then there's the landing. Despite occasional hiccups, airplanes land with overwhelming success. To its credit, SpaceX has gotten really good at landing its Falcon 9 rockets both on land and at sea, and Musk even began his speech by touting how 16 of them have landed successfully in a row. But the difference between landing a 14-story rocket booster with no passengers and a large ship full of them is significant. Musk says that he hopes to begin construction on the rocket in the next six to nine months. We'll see how those plans play out.